Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at stepwise regression. Or actually, to be honest with you, what we are looking at particularly is forward selection and backward selection, which are components of stepwise regression. Okay, so it's a sort of a building block, to, uh, it's a sort of stepping stone even towards uh, stepwise, stepwise regression. So the key takeaway from this one is forward selection and backward selection. Now, these are generally known as variable selection procedures, okay? And what they are used to do is to determine the best set of explanatory models to explain a mo uh, to to fit a model. Okay, the, the the best set of variables to predict uh, explain a model or use for a model. Okay, so essentially what we're going to do is that there's a couple of search algorithms that would sort of search out the best sort of combination of um, variables. Okay, so the main two like so the main two are well, there's forward selection and backward selection, okay, or backward elimination. And in combination, uh, these would be used to create stepwise regression, okay. Now, essentially, what I'm particularly focusing on here is uh, these two in specifically. Just actually, because if you get a sense of these, stepwise regression is actually straightforward enough. Okay, so it's a stepwise regression is the happy medium between the two, essentially. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to present a data set called MT Cars. This is an inbuilt data set. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and come up with a model here that is, I'm going to use miles per gallon, okay, as a response variable. And I'm going, like, so essentially what I'm going to try and do is predict miles per gallon based on all of the other variables there. Or actually, correctly, some subset of those variables there, but I don't know which ones. Okay, now I can't I can't try every single combination there, because it's just it would be prohibitive to actually fit every single model. So there's actually ten variables there. So that, you might not believe this, but there's actually two to the power of ten possible uh, linear models that you can make out of 10 variables. It's a thing called combinatorial explosion. It's actually quite interesting. Now, so what I'm gonna do here, just to start off, is I'm gonna fit a model, that just a simple linear model that co uh, combines all of those variables there uh, and uses, uh, that sort of uses them all to explain miles per gallon. So LM uh, of miles per gallon explained by cylinder plus disc plus HP and so on data set equals MT cars okay and we're going to call that fit all okay old bit of code there now so that is the summary that we would get okay fit all now I'm actually just going to sort of like they really have to type in every single one of them that seems mad because it could be there's 10 here but there could be more and they have to have plus signs in between them all that's amazing that's crazy that anyone could do that. So what you could do there is put in dot, okay? And that really sort of means miles per gallon explained by everything else. And let's have a look at that. See, it's the same model. It's the exact same model as before. It just, the dot means explained by all of the other variables in, MT, in the empty cars data set. Very handy for this sort of stuff, okay? So the little dot means pretty much everything else. So explained by everything else. Miles per gallon explained by everything else in the empty cars data set. Okay, that's what that means about. Okay, so summary. Now what happens here is this is not a good model. Okay. Nothing is coming up as significant. Okay. Now part of the problem there is we got multi-clinearity and just way too many variables. Okay, so we have to get rid of a few. Which do you get rid of? Okay, so that is the point of backward elimination. Okay, so let's close that or run that again. So essentially, oh yeah, that's me doing that, showing off that dot there. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do fit all and that is a linear model with everything fitted, okay, and what we're going to do there, so every, sorry, everything fitting, everything is used to fit miles per gallon, okay. So the command here is step. 
stepwise regression, but step actually, particularly in this case, what we're doing is backward elimination. So hence the direction equals backward, okay? Now it's important to sort of remark here, backward means that everything is in the model to start with, okay? And what's going to happen here is that the, uh, uh, one by one, things are going to get removed, okay? So that's the direction equals backward and shortly we'll see direction equals forward okay so step fit all fit all is the model with everything that we're going to consider okay and direction equals backward now this is the key thing here the AIC okay so it starts off start AIC AIC is Aikaike information criterion I believe that's how you pronounce it AIC it's very interesting and you should really learn about that as soon as possible if you're studying linear models, AIC. I'll, that's a one for a different video. But essentially what we have here is the ranking of what would happen if we subtract, take one uh, variable out. So we have 10 variables, okay? Uh, something I should remark upon is that the lower the AIC value, the better the model okay that's an important thing lower is better okay so if we take out minus cylinder that means the AIC would drop to 68.915 if we take out VS the AIC value will drop to 68.932 so when I mean drop I mean it's currently at 70.9 and so on if we leave it alone it's 70.898 or 70.9 essentially. If we take out AM, it will it will become 71.108. It actually goes up. Okay, so that's something we don't want to do. Okay, and likewise with weight, we don't want to take out weight. Okay, so what happens here? It goes to the next stage, and what happens here now? Going, you might notice here. Actually, I just sort of go back goes from this phase this is the first phase and it goes to this second phase here okay and what happened here is that cylinder has just got taken out okay so we're in the second phase now and what happens is that cylinder is out and this is the thing about backward selection it's out for good it will never be brought back in okay and so what happens here is something similar so the AIC model is uh, of the model is 68.92 Okay, uh, or 915 rounded if you were to uh, adjust for decimal places. And so if we take out VS, that's minus VS, the AIC would drop to 66.973. If we subtract carb, it would reduce to 67.028. Now it's important to remark. Um, you can only take out one variable at a time and recalibrate uh, everything, okay, or re-estimate everything, because there's such a thing as collinearity, and collinearity brings in uh, masking. So, like, once you take out one variable, another variable, the, the behavior of, of another variable that has a bit of collinearity with it might change a lot. So, you have to just take out one by one. You just don't take out the whole lot, okay? So, you notice actually that QSEC is now below here the none just, just basically just one at a time is what I'm getting at okay uh, gear and so on now okay so essentially this is a ranking of all the possible uh, scenarios you can take which one to get rid of plus the not get rid of anything scenario and this is them all ranked and according to this the best ranked option here is to subtract VS so that's what happens in the next phase okay and so on the, the essentially what something similar here what we this tells us to do this table tells us to subtract carb so let's knock out carb now just actually notice here that the none uh, just below none we have am q second weight when we take out carb like this list is uh, increases okay so just that's interesting actually. That's just a sort of effect of uh, collinearity, multicollinearity. Anyway, we take out gear that would reduce the AIC value from sixty-five 
point one two to sixty three point four five seven or four six. Okay. Uh, Drat. Okay, and look at this. This is now above none again. Okay. Anyway, remove Drat. Remove disp. Remove HP. Okay. And now at the end, this is our stopping condition. Stop taking stuff out. Okay. That's so that none is the top to rank option there. That means take nothing out. Leave it alone. Okay. Because if we take anything else out, the AIC goes up. And that's something we don't want. Okay. So essentially what happens is this actually of the 10. Um, of the 10 uh, variables, it actually selected WT, QSEC, and AM to be the best explanatory model for miles per gallon. Okay. Now, um, there's such a thing as forward selection as well. Okay, so I'm just actually... I'm going to pause, uh, stop this video and then start another one to talk about forward selection.